Hey guys, thank you for coming to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message for the Taurus Virgo Capricorns out there. Okay, so your guys' pre-shuffle was amazing. You had uh, the Lovers, the King of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and uh, the Chariot, and what else was there? I don't know, there's the Four of Wands again. It was just, I mean, oh, the Two of Cups. That was the first one that came out. So you just had the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands again. So let's see what we get now. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. So your first card out is the Death card. <coughs> Excuse me. Your second card out is the Queen of Wands. Your third card out is the Fool. Bottom of the deck is the two of wands, so you or your person could be at a crossroads right now. Not sure what you want to do. The person you are dealing with is temperance. Could be Sagittarius. We also got Scorpio and Aries here. Wow, three out of the four major arcana so far are signs. Alright. Earth signs person. Whoa. Earth signs person. What are they connecting with? Thank you. All right. The next card out is the Eight of Wands. <coughs> you also got the Six of Cups, the Moon, and the Prince of Wands. I'm keeping them. Your guys' outcome for the day. Whoa. The three and four of wands. You guys have to be connecting with a fire sign. Like I said, the whole pre-shuffle was all fire signs except for the lovers. Bottom of the deck is the king of swords, clarified with the princess of wands, and the six of pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat chakra has <clears throat> not been doing this. all. Like, you're my last reading, earth signs. And um, that I've done for the for the elements, and now I feel like I can't hardly talk. Okay, so we'll start with your shared energy. Um, you have really been thinking long and hard about this. The King of Wands is a king that has gone through a lot of shit, has gone through a lot of the mental processes, um, a lot of thinking has gone into your decision. Um, because you are going through this transformation. You are purging right now what doesn't fit you. I don't care if it's friends, family, relationships, jobs, whatever is not in line with you right now, you're stepping away from. Because you are too, you are too big to stay in such a small place. Um, you could be like acting like distant, cold to somebody just because you're trying to figure it all out. Um, or you were distant from somebody because now you're sending and receiving these messages more than likely with a fire sign, but it could just be somebody that you're very passionate about if it's not a fire sign. This is somebody who the two of you just, you jive um, in every way. Uh, it's also clarified with the Six of Pentacles. So it is somebody that you did not invest all your time in before. Um, you we're only kind of half-assing this relationship in the past not letting it get completely off the ground you could have been tied to somebody else at the at the moment but you're ready to you're ready to step into your role you're ready to step in as your position as the king you're ready to take action um, you have done the work to get to this status to get to this point um, yeah most definitely well the eight of swords in reverse so now that you're coming out of this uh, transformation now that you are releasing what is not in line with you you are getting out of this place that this relationship that you are leaving or situation or job or whatever it is that you're purging out of your life it's done it's dead it cannot be revived um, and you're stepping into your role um, you're stepping into a relationship where you can be yourself where your emotions are in check where you feel like you love who you are 
right now you don't like or where you're coming from earth signs you did not like who you were when you were there but you're getting out of that now and you're following your heart um, away from walking away from a connection that you're currently in facing your fear having strength and courage there's that king of wands again to take your <laughs> the magician geez to um take action with passion like i said to lead with your heart to be the person who you truly are meant to be your next card out is the queen of wands having the confidence to do it you could be leaving this situation and heading towards a fire sign um we did have the king and queen of fire there now but um this is most definitely about finding the inner strength your inner beauty your value your worth having the confidence to move forward um, and a lot of you are heading towards somebody who you are very passionate about very passionate this person is very intuitively psychic though this person knows you're coming as well but well let me get a clarifier on that why is the queen of wands here the six of swords so yeah you are leaving the rough waters behind you're following your intuition like did i just say this person's very intuitively psychic they know you're coming towards them you're allowing your intuition to lead you and guide you to where you're meant to be to who you're meant to be with and it is with this person they intuitively know you're coming because you have a very deep psychic connection as well once again on the bottom of your deck the king of cups this person that you're moving towards they have your heart already earth signs most definitely um, but you're taking a leap of faith with this person. Um, could be heading towards an Aries. Or, uh, well, yeah, an Aries is all I see right there. Whoa. Yeah, it's taken you a little bit of time to get here. But you're now ready to take that leap. You got your coin in hand. You're, you're feeling stable enough to move away from where you're at. Um, and you're going to meet this person right in the middle. They're anxiously awaiting your arrival but the two of you are going to be able to take this leap of faith knowing you're going to land on your feet because you took the proper time it you needed to think about this and you're coming for forward for a relationship very stable very level-headed this isn't something that you rushed in this is no knight of wands this is going to be for the long haul uh earth signs and the bottom of your deck the ten of cups you most definitely are heading into a very emotionally fulfilling connection um, where your vibration is going to be off the charts. All right, your person uh, could be a Sagittarius, um, but it doesn't have to be. This is just somebody who had to do a lot of healing. Um, this is somebody that you betrayed in the past this is somebody that um, went through a lot of daggers from you or you, yeah, well, whoever's in this bottom row, they had to heal a lot. Um, this could be a twin flame soulmate connection, the more I look at it, um, because the cards are here representing that. But um, if not, this is just somebody that you have been in a relationship in this lifetime with because there was hurt and betrayal in the past. This person felt like you backstabbed them, felt like you betrayed them, um, you know, left them for dead. And in that time, they gained this incredible sense of self, this balance, this healing. Um, and now they're intuitively knowing that you're coming towards them. Um, and they're waiting there with that cup of love to reciprocate with you. They've been very patient in this process. This has taken a long time, uh, Earth Science, a long time to get to this point. Um, that they had to be patient. The bottom of the deck now is Seven of Pentacles. So they've been working on themselves, planting the seed of their intentions, wanting to be with you in this connection and patiently working on themselves because they know that's what it was going to take. Um, the heartache, the, the, the betrayal, all that's in the past. Um, and they're releasing that. Your, their next card out was the Eight of Wands. A lot of communication. Cupid's arrow coming in most definitely. Coming in for that Knight of Pentacles. Um, this person is very stable, very grounded, very um, making good money, um, providing for themselves. But most importantly, they're just, this is like 
they're just chill. They are sitting back, enjoying what all their hard work has paid off. And they're just very good in their own, in their own emotions. They feel good right now. When you open up communication, you're going to be able to see this change in how they respond, how they act. Um, you know, it's, they're not going to be distant, but you're going to see that they have a whole new confidence. Like they're not needing and wanting you to come towards them. Um, if, if you want to join them on this amazing adventure, then sure, come on over. But this is a lot of romantic mo messages, a lot. Like, this person loves you, Earth sign. I mean, they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot with you. And they're still sitting here waiting for you to join them um, in, this, in this life, in this adventure. Um, there's something that you guys are connected with the mountains about. I'm seeing mountains. You guys have a special connection because of that. But those Cupid's arrows are going to offer this cup of love. Whether you offer it to them or them to you, it is coming in for you guys. Their last bunch of cards that fell out was the Prince of Wands, the Moon, and the Six of Cups. So the Moon is not always secrets. It can be. This person could be a secret. You could be in a different relationship. Well, yeah, you're leaving a relationship, Earth sign. So this person could have been a secret in your past. Um, because we do have the Six of Cups here as well. But... It's more focusing on the deep connection the two of you have. Like, this is a deep emotional, like, it's deep in your soul. Um, this is a past life situation. One of you could have to walk away from a parent or a family member that disapproves of this connection, but you don't care. You're going to fill each other's cups up anyway. It's coming in very fast, very strong, very passionate. Um, and you guys are going to... Uh, going to honor your feelings you've been hiding your feelings for a long time why is this these cards here for their person one card please thank you the world so once you've oh my goodness i just couldn't even make this up so earth sign you guys are completing a major life cycle coming out of a marriage coming leaving a career um you know something major in your life is coming to an end and you're ready to give this person this new beginning. You're ready to take that leap. There's finally no more fear. You're very confident now that this cycle is completed. They also ended a cycle healing from the past. Um, this is an amazing energy. Like Both of you finding the strength to move forward and follow that love. Um, knowing that no matter how long it took, no matter how long you guys were separated that that eternal love would still be there between the two of you having that as your or that's what they had like they knew you, you would eventually get here they didn't know how long it was going to take you to get here but they knew that that bond between the two of you with that infinity symbol they knew it was never going away but now the divine timing is here it is written in the stars that the two of you as corny as that sounds it, it really is all about wishes coming true earth science um, doing doing what isn't necessarily easy or fun or you know it downright freaking sucked the death card is not easy but it is worth it when you get through that death process and you come out on the other side you're 20 pounds lighter. You're 10 times happier because you get rid of all of the junk in your life, all of the, the energetic junk. Um, and it was hard, but, but you're, you're getting the promise of that new beginning. When you take a leap of faith within yourself, it's going to pay off. Whoa. Okay. So, you were separated from this person. You were at a distance from this person. Uh, this is so a fire sign. They have fire, earth, or they have fire in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, the person that you're dealing with, most definitely. Some of you could have uh, double fire signs in those four signs. Um, or like, you know, their planets, or their placements are in more than just sun, it could be sun and rising, you know, Venus and moon, something like that. Anyways, 
the ships are coming in. And you're on that ship, Virgo. Taurus. I don't see Capricorn on here. So Capricorn, they may be coming towards you. But um, for those of you, Virgo and Taurus, I see you are the one that is reaching out. You are the one that is coming back to them. Capricorn, I do see them returning to you. Um, but no longer having that emotional disconnect. No more the of the physical distance. Um, with the Four of Wands, the two of you could be moving into a new home together. Um, but you're following your heart, Earth Science. You're following it. You're allowing your emotions, your heart, your soul to guide you and lead you to where you need to be. And now the manifestation of this commitment in the physical is coming to... Uh, coming to your life you really put in the work you really deserve this like I said for some of you you are moving out of a old home into a new one with this person for some of you this is your divine partner um, and you are leaving a situation that was not good that was dead over complete cycle finish and now you're moving into a commitment with somebody that you can build a strong foundation um, between the two of you so you don't have that tower so you don't have that rift the connect or the confusion is gone you now know that this person at a distance from you or sign is who you want to give your heart to you know that they already have your heart is what I just heard blessings galore are on those ships I see financial blessings I see new opportunities new jobs um, so take action because you are moving into a beautiful connection uh, with your divine partner. Soulmate or twin flame. One or the other. Um, most definitely a divine connection. So I am going to... Let me use these. I'm going to do a second spread for you guys if that one did not resonate. It will go Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order bottom of the deck will be the situation you are in. I will pull male female clarifiers with the after, to after tarot as your guys' um, final outcome for the day, or for the reading. Okay. Let me just give it a couple shuffles here and I will pull your cards. Virgo, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, there we go. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. So you guys are all dealing with a commitment, a relationship. The Empress is in reverse. The Queen of Cups is on the um, is clarifying as well. Uh, ouch. All right, Taurus, you guys got the Chariot. Virgo, you guys got the Star. Capricorn, you got the Six of Cups in reverse. So. All right, so uh, Taurus, you guys are moving and ending a uh, marriage, a long-term commitment. Um, you could be the one that was going through the death cycle, um, leaving behind the situation that did not serve you, that um, you could have this person or you, one of you, Taurus, um, had a third party, no longer allowing the third party to continue within this connection. You're moving out of the connection and following your heart. Um, bottom of the deck just there is justice. So heading towards a uh, severing of the contract, whether it be a marriage or a uh, long-term commitment. Yeah, so Taurus um, men, you guys are leaving a connection with, this could be a relationship that you have known, you're, like you could have been in this relationship for years, like high school sweethearts. This um, is somebody you've known since childhood, all your life. Even if you didn't date them, you know, when you were young, you've known this person all your life. Um, you are walking away from everything you know, is what I just heard. For some of you, you are walking away from this marriage. Um, you're walking away because 
you have to heal these childhood hurts. You're holding on to things that happened in your childhood, um, but you're heading towards that healing. That's amazing. You are writing, you're going through an ascension. Uh, you know, you're raising your, you're like really open to psychic messages right now. Really connected to the divine. If you listen, um, you will hear it. Taurus females, you are leaving a connection due to a cheating scenario, due to, um, yeah, whether you are the one that had the third party or somebody had a third party on you, you're walking away because you know your value, you know your worth. Um, somebody could be actually leaving you, no, well, it can be either one, I'm seeing both ways. But either way, you're heading towards the star, which is you're on the right path. Some of you are wondering, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be leaving? Am I supposed to be walking away? Am I supposed to be giving up on creating this family with somebody? Um, and the angels are saying you're on the right path because the chariot leads to the star. You have to take that chariot to the star to find healing. Um, even though it is breaking your heart and it seems very unfair, this is what needs to be done. This is the truth. This is the next step in what you're meant to be doing. Yeah, you're meant to head towards this severing of this relationship. But the most beautiful thing is you're going to head towards um, possibly a Leo or in the time of Leo you're leaving, which is July 23rd through August 22nd. Taurus females, you have a big relationship coming in for you because the emperor is right here um, and you have the queen of cups. So when you leave this relationship that has brought you all this sadness, all this heartache, um, you're going to end up in a far better relationship because when you find uh, healing in the stars, you also are moving into your destiny. You're moving into the path you're meant to be on. Taurus females, you have a lot to look forward to. I see big changes coming in for you in the time of Scorpio. Somebody's coming in, um, could be an M or it could be an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody who is very well put together. They have their own business. They um, know how to run, you know, their company. They know how to build an empire, and uh, you're gonna be. You're going to feel like all your wishes are coming true because this person is your match. They are who you're meant to be. You are meant to move out of this connection um, and find healing and be happy again because this isn't meant for you, Taurus females. This isn't because the cups are spilled. But what once you get out of the sadness and healing, I mean, look at the blues and purples in that card. I love it. Um, after you find this beautiful healing, you're going to realize your true soulmate is the one that's coming in the picture next. So I hope that heal, helps you heal and release the pain of this because the person you're letting go doesn't deserve you. The person coming in for you is your divine partner. So find that place of healing, let go of this betrayal. This isn't gonna happen again. No, it's not because you have a partner that is heavenly sent for you coming next. Okay, let's get your after tarot card. What is the outcome of Taurus, male and females today? Yep, you have the seven of pentacles. It's time to work on yourself. Be patient. Um, just continue to invest in your future. Continue to invest in yourself. Continue to um, put the time and work it takes into uh, building a new life because it's gonna pay off in big ways okay Virgo somebody uh, for some of you this is the stars aligning divine timing is here um, for some of you you're needing healing from a broken marriage um, getting over the heartache of a mistress but finding healing within within the power of the star. You also could have a mother who's trying to force you into staying in this 
uh, relationship because the Empress and the Queen of Cups to me is the mother. When the Empress is in the reverse, you're wanting to leave the mother of your children or um, you are the mother and you want to leave the father of your children and your mother is trying to control the outcome, trying to, it's like this is her and she's trying to force you guys to stay tied um, together. But you see in the hair front, this one is awoke, they're untied. This one is still stuck in this, stuck in um, the thoughts of this, having to keep this connection. But this is a very controlling mother. Um, her emotions are all over the place. By the way, um, follow your own heart. She's got that, her hand over that cup. Like she ain't letting anybody in and she ain't giving any out. She's just trying to control the situation. So be cautious of that. Follow your own dreams, your own wishes. Um, you will find healing from this broken relationship, um, most definitely. And you also, Virgo men, are um, getting your wishes to come true. You are leaving a marriage for a lot of you, um, no matter what this mother figure says. Um, you are moving into a relationship with your soulmate. Um, this, is, like I said, is divine timing. So in divine timing, your soulmate is returning and the two of you are, um, for some of you, the two of you are going to make this commitment um, like public. You're going to make it official against the wishes of a mother figure, um, but you don't care. This is your soulmate and you, uh, you truly care about this person. Virgo females, you feel like you have won a huge battle. You are coming out of this star very, very nicely, but you've had to fight to get here. You, it wasn't easy for you. You had to break out of this connection as well, Virgo females. You had to go against what everyone was telling you to do, and you felt like you were fighting this battle on your own, um, but it's feeling so good now that you are here. You are, it's like, this is like the hero. Like, you did it. I just keep thinking, I did it, I did it. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. So you did do it. You fought to get where you're at. And now your wishes are coming true because you are nurturing your own self, nurturing your future, your emotions, um, no longer dealing with anybody that is sneaky. Yeah, you feel like it has been a huge victory to get here. You are... Uh, breaking free of this connection that you're currently in, but you are moving into a relationship with somebody that you have unconditional love for as well. Okay, let's get your guys' outcome for the day. Oh, way too many. All right, what is our Virgos, men and women? Oh my goodness, that's way too many. One, please. Thank you. All right, wow. Your bottom of the deck. So you're walking away. Even though you're leaving somebody who didn't want these cups to be abandoned. Um, especially if you're the male. I see the males walking away um, from the females. But you realize that these cups can't be filled. So you're heading out, Virgo, men, to find your own two cups. That's why I said especially men. Because the ten and the two, or the eight and the two make the ten of cups. Um, so you most definitely are walking away from this situation. Um, the female in this one is bonded to, he is free. Um, so I do see you Virgo men walking away and getting, um, following your heart, following your soul and making this two of cups commitment. Um, Virgo females, you are as well because everybody is ending with the four of wands here, um, with a soulmate connection. This is divinely guided, um, but this is going to be a strong, stable connection. Both of you Virgos, men and women, possibly are moving into a new house as well. Um, could be due to having to leave or because you left this connection, but most definitely you are moving um, in the direction that the universe is guiding you. The Ace of Pentacles is under that with the chariot. So very positive for you Virgos. You're ready to start a new life. All right, Capricorn females. Capricorn men, you're having a hard time letting this, this end. You're not wanting to let go. Um, 
You're not wanting to let go of this person that you've known all your life. The Six of Cups came up again. Um, it was at the end of our other reading, but you're not wanting to let this person go. You're not wanting um, this cycle to complete. You're wanting to hold on to this marriage, even though they possibly could be the one that is walking away. This could be your Taurus, Capricorn and Taurus. You could be connected um, because the Empress is in reverse. This connection can't go on any further, but you're not wanting this cycle to complete. You're holding on really tight um, to that. There is going to be someone that comes in for you, though, that is very, that's going to help you get over this. This person's going to be very loving, kind. Um, it could even be just a friend, but it's somebody, it's a female water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's going to come in and help you release this hurt, Capricorn men. Uh, Capricorn females, you guys are finding the confidence, the strength, and the will to move forward and out of the sadness of missing somebody the sadness of this uh, relationship not getting off the ground and and moving in the direction you are hoping you're finding the love within yourself you're finding your strength your confidence people are drawn to you because of your magnetism and you're letting the past be the past for you capricorn females um you're also, I do see for you, uh, Capricorn females, you have somebody from your past coming back to you, and you're like, yeah, no, thank you. Next. You know you deserve better than this. You know that you needed more, and they couldn't give it to you, so you are breaking out of that past connection and focusing on loving um, and nurturing yourself. All right, let's get one card for our Capricorn. Men and women. Thank you. All right, five of wands. So a lot of inner conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of conflict with within and with and outside of yourself. Um, but they're figuring out, and this is the after tarot, so it's a little bit different. They're all figuring out that no matter how hard they fight, they're just wearing each other out. In the in the regular tarot, they're all fighting except for one, and they're just kind of off watching them all fight. So these guys are all fighting over something, and this one just stands back until they're too tired to fight. So you guys are just, for you Capricorn females, you are this one in the center. You are smart enough not to get involved. You just stood back, concentrated on yourself, um, having the confidence that you knew what was coming for you would find you, and it is. Capricorn men, I do feel you were the one that was one of them that was fighting for their attention, and now you're just wore out. Now you're just wanting, you're wanting it to be over is what I'm hearing. Like the pain, like not the pain. You're wanting the conflict to be over. You just want the conflict to stop is what I just heard. So, all right. I hope one of those uh, readings resonated. If not, make sure you sh uh, check out your other signs. If those don't either, just check me out tomorrow. This wasn't our day. All right. Earth signs. But overall... Even Taurus, you guys have had a couple rough readings the last couple weeks. Um, even yours is turning into a beautiful path. I mean, look at how awesome that card is. Even this deck makes the chariot look beautiful. Because you are, well, this is the promise of a new light, a new day, a new opportunity. With all the stars around you, you're ascending. You're going to move into your uh, divine path that you're meant to be on. And like I said, that Two of Cups is coming in this next relationship. Your guys' cards that came out, you got two. Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered with Mother Mary. And bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. So don't be afraid, Taurus. Don't be afraid, Virgo. Don't be afraid, Capricorn. To move forward, be bold and do what makes your heart happy. No matter how risky or daring it may seem, it is time to be bold and take the risk and expect it's going to work out just fine. You're going to take that leap. You have that fool as your outcome card in the first reading, Earth Signs. Take that leap and know that you're going to land on your feet because Mother Mary is here to uh, assure you that your prayers are being answered and everything's going to turn out great. All right, Earth Signs, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I will see you next time. I send you all love, light, and God bless.